up, everybody? Well, I got another AZU C50 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're gonna check out body cam again, but we're gonna try 1440p. Now, in all honesty, it's probably gonna be like a 40, 50 FPS experience now, no matter what I do, but I'm gonna try using the same settings I did before, and then we'll try just putting everything down to low. But this game is a little bit <laughs> too much of a team-based game. So my social anxiety is like, no, I wanted to go and just join a game and fight with people, but they want you to be like on open mics constantly and like all this shit. And I just can't do that. That is not my forte. Now, if I could get my friends to play this game with me, I could, you know, get some footage because they could just be on my team. And then who cares what the other team says? They'll know I'll be making a video. So I won't be like the most flawless player versus playing with some randoms that are just gonna be like, what the fuck is Vicious doing? What the fuck, Vicious? Kick Vicious, he's a piece of shit. You know, I don't like that shit. That's what probably helped make my social anxiety so bad, just dealing with a bunch of assholes online. But luckily with them, you don't ever have to deal with them in real life. I mean, unless they're really psycho, you beat them and they find out where you live and stab you in the heart. That happened to one guy. I was just hating view the other day. So it's not like impossible, but the likelihood of you meeting them is very low. So I try to not let it bother me, but this just was one of those games where I just couldn't. So sorry about that, but I'll still get you guys a little footage from just <laughs> hosting a game. And if someone happens to join, so be it. But if not, I'm just gonna get ourselves a little footage. I mean, somebody actually joined right at the end of my last video. I was like, oh, why couldn't you have done that like two minutes ago or something? I could have at least tried to play versus 1v1 because then I don't have to worry about my team. It's just me versus another guy. That wasn't so bad, but that's not what this game is all about. Anyway, sorry for the long intro. I just wanted to explain what was going on and whatnot. So now let's go get into the game. All right. I muted the music this time. This one was just really loud. So I just wouldn't have been able to hear myself think. So we turn the music off just for a second. Hopefully I'll remember to turn the sound back on. But this time around, we're gonna do 1440p. Everything else on this thing is unlocked. No V-Sync, none of that shit. So now let's go check out the graphics. Push the upscale quality high. We're not even using frame gen or anything like that. Obviously you could try that out if you want, but I don't think I'd want to use any of that stuff for a first person shooter. That's just me. So that's why I did not mess with that. So now we'll get a little bit of gameplay like this. And then after that, we'll come back, turn everything to low and see what it does. But last time at 1080p, it didn't really make a whole lot of difference. I think we only gained like maybe eight FPS tops and that's probably being generous. But anyway, to the game. All right, here we're in the game and yeah, we're only getting like 39, 37 FPS. I think I saw 42 when I was sitting completely still. So yeah, definitely not what I would consider playable for a first person shooter, especially on such a nice system like this. So I think 1440 is just gonna be a little too much for it. If you want reasonable FPS, you're just gonna have to either turn FSR on and, or just do 1080p. I would recommend just turning 1080p on because I think that uses gives you a little more FPS than just using FSR does because FSR still has to do a bunch of calculations and this, that, and the other thing. So some FPS is lost in the process, I'm sure. Well, I know I'm sure because I've seen it happen live. <laughs> Definitely feels like a lot of heat is pouring out of this thing, so this game is definitely pushing this laptop, that's for sure. I guess I can't just fault through windows. I mean, you probably can on some of them, but probably not on everything. Oh, now we're all the way down to 30 FPS. Alright, probably shouldn't jump off there, that'll probably kill me. Oh, I actually can go on the roof, maybe. I don't think I've tried doing that. No? No, oh, it's probably some button. I don't know what the use button is in this game. Hey, we hit 50 FPS for a split second.
Okay, so you can jump over that too. See, it's still good practice to just kind of figure out like what the hell is going on. The likelihood of me picking, of the game picking this out as the first map I play for real, if I ever do even play this game for real, would probably be pretty low, you know? It seemed like there's quite a few maps to choose from, depending on what game color you wanted to play. But in any case, I think that's probably plenty. Let's go drop her down low and see if we actually gain any FPS or if it basically stays the same. 1080p just stayed the same, but I'm curious. So let's go find out. All right, so here's the settings we're going with for low. Obviously, 1440p as a base. It is, does have upscaling on high, so I'm sure it's not really 1440p anymore, but now we go to the graphics and we pretty much just put everything on low besides we left this stuff alone and left view distance on epic. Oh, I missed these guys. They're that guy. Aha. And since I'm not recording with anything besides my camera, doing that ain't going to mess with the recording at all. I think half the time I forget to hit accept because I'll be, like, recording when I do something and then forget, you know? But now, back to the game. All right, here we are in game. At the start, we're getting, like, 42, 41, 43... 37 again though, but yeah, I think we're getting like the exact same frame rate again, really. Like we might have gained an FPS or two in certain areas, but this seems just like it did when we were on the other settings on like the mixture of high and medium. Interesting. But yeah, still doesn't look that bad even with having on low to be honest. It's probably why half my uh, cheaper items couldn't play it, and even this can't play it that well. The G15 advantage is starting to get a little bit old at this point for these newer games. And this isn't even a AAA game. This is just like, I think, a, I think this would be considered an indie game. But then again, I don't really know exactly what constitutes as what. I don't know if it's like how many people are working on it, or how much money was spent on it. Or if the publisher had a lot of money that made it, and that's what makes it AAA. I'm not really sure. I could look it up, but I've never really just really had the notion to. So I might actually go do that at some point, just so I know for future reference. But yeah, it doesn't really seem any different. So just like with 1080p, I'll just play with everything up. If you can deal with the 30 to 40 FPS for a game like this. I mean, I can still aim, so it's not like it, I'm incapable of playing at this frame rate, but I don't know. Anything with guns, I prefer at least a 60-plus experience. That's just me. And that's all I'm with the controller. With a controller, I can forgive it a little more, probably because I'm not that good with the controller. But it's just movement doesn't feel as smooth or as fast with the controller. With a mouse, depending on your sensitivity, I mean, with a freaking controller, I could never just do that, for example. And if I could, then I wouldn't be able to aim, or something else would be fucked up. At least that's what my experience. Maybe other people have come up with solutions for that, that are that main controllers. But they're just not my cup of tea, personally, for these kind of games. I mean, it's not like I'm that great at these anyway, but... And keep in mind, since we're all by our lonesome here, we'd probably be getting way worse FPS if we were in, like, a game full of people and our, our bodies moving on the screen, you know? So, I just don't think 1440p would be very playable for a game like this. But, hey, you guys can make your judgment by seeing what you see here. And worst case scenario, if you get it for this and it isn't up to snuff, you can always get a refund. I just make these videos to try to save people time, but I guess when I let my social anxiety get the better of me, and don't actually play against real people with like a full game, then it doesn't really do a perfect representation of what it's going to be like. But hey, I can't do what I can't do. Anyway, though, I think that's probably good. So why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys. 
That's a wrap for body cam at 1440, and it wasn't really playable as far as I'm concerned. It was about as playable as it was on the Ally and the little mini PC as far as frame rate goes. Mind you, we were at way higher uh, settings and whatnot. Those ones were at 720p, everything on low, with upscaling on top of that. So it was probably more like 360 or 480p or something like that in the grand scheme of things. This was closer to 1080p. Not really though, because it, well, it might be around 1080p because we were using upscaling, but it's hard to gauge what it's going to be, especially if you're not even using FSR. I don't know what this thing does for its upscaling. It just has like high, low, you know, medium, that or off. So not really sure, but all I know is it was not the native resolution, but still harder to run than the same thing going on, you know, at 720p as a base resolution. That's all I'm trying to say. So I wouldn't say this was very playable, but you guys can see what you see and see if it looks playable enough for you. It wasn't like a stuttery mess or anything like that. It just wasn't very high frame rates. Or at least I didn't notice lots of stutters, but I didn't have my frame time bar. But hey, if you're not noticing them, good. Even if they're there, who cares then? If you don't notice them, as far as I'm concerned, I only care about stuff I notice. If I don't notice something, what's the point of getting all butthurt about it? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, though, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video. It's now time for us to wrap this up so I can go try this game out on the Alienware. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, Peace out, guys.